Countries exporting agricultural products are facing increasing uncertainty following the passing of a European Union's new deforestation law. Vietnam's coffee industry, for example, with the EU as its largest export market for coffee, is struggling to keep up. Not so much with the deforestation rules, but more with the complex paperwork of providing verifiable proof. CNA's Tung Ngo explores how the local industry is coping with the new dynamics. This is Vietnam's central highlands. With rich soils and unique climate, the region is home to Vietnam's biggest coffee plantations. Vietnam is the second biggest coffee exporter in the world, with more than 1.2 million coffee farmers. About 50 to 60 percent of the coffee goes to Europe, its largest export market. But the industry is now faced with increasing uncertainty due to EU's new rule that aims to fight global deforestation and climate change. Multiple industry sources say deforestation is not a problem in Vietnam's coffee industry, as majority of the plantation were first planted decades ago. Các cái vùng trồng cà phê ấy, bây giờ là người ta đang trồng vào những cái khu vực mà có cái độ đất ổn định cao. Và cái hiện tượng mà bảo là để mà phá rừng, để mà trồng cà phê ấy, bây giờ có thể nói là gần như không có không xảy, xảy ra được nữa. The new EU regulation requires traceability of coffee beans as well as geolocation of each coffee farm. Many say the main challenge is how to come up with verifiable proof, particularly for those smallholders. Like other countries, uh, mostly in the world, uh, Vietnam is also um, having like the 90% of the uh, of the production uh, produced by the smallholders, and and each farmers they might have about three or four plots, and and those plots are also scattered. It also means that the management of those plots to make it non-deforested and sustainable production is uh, becoming more uh, challenges uh, for them. Major Vietnamese coffee exporters have worked with independent agencies of the international coffee industry to promote and obtain certificates on sustainable coffee production. However, the new EU regulation is much stricter and demands much more details than those standard sustainability certificates. Lack of clarity on the guidelines are putting the coffee exporters on edge. Thì hiện nay là mình cũng 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 chưa nắm được các tiêu chuẩn thì họ đưa rất là cụ thể. Rất là cụ thể bởi vì con đối với các đối với châu thì họ đưa ra cái luật chứ không có hướng dẫn the guidance for implementation is not there yet with EU uh, with the EU commission and and also we also don't know what is the result of benchmarking Vietnam coffee sector so this uh, the question of benchmarking of a Vietnam coffee sector against other country and among the different parts of Vietnam against other parts are quite important. The EU regulation creates a benchmarking system which assigns a level of risk related to deforestation to countries within and outside the EU. The risk category will determine the level of specific obligations for traders and authorities to carry out inspections and controls. Like other countries that export agricultural products to the European market, Vietnam has 18 months to comply with the new regulation. Some major coffee exporters in June have launched pilot programs that collect information and data in a joint attempt to devise solutions. Amid uncertainties, insiders say they believe the new EU rules we help transform the country's coffee industry into a more sustainable trade, although the added compliance will surely increase the cost of coffee production in Vietnam. Tung Ngo, CNA, Hanoi.